بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طلاب أنا دكتورة مها عبد الجبار أستاذ مساعد في فرع التشريح والأنسجة والأجنة راح نعطيكم الإمبريولوجي طبعا الـ aims of the study of the embryology to give idea about the human development حتى نعرف تطورات الإنسان وأشون يتكون لازم ندرس الإمبريولوجي أيضا حتى نوضح صورة عن الأشكال التشريحية والصفات التشريحية الموجودة بالأعضاء إذا to clarify the gross anatomical features of the organ أيضا to understand helps to understand دي كونجنتا الامال فورميشن او كونجنتا الانوماني اشون تحدث التغيرات الخلقية امبريولوجي كان بي ديفايدد انتو دي جنرال امبريولوجي انتو ما تحتاجوا طلاب هسه جنرال امبريولوجي اللي هو يعني جنرال ديفلوبمنت اوف اول دي بودي سبيشالي ان ذا فيرست مانت اوف دي انترا يوتيران لاين The special embryology is the development of the organs and system from the beginning to the end. هاي ما راح تاخذوها هسه طلاب. Development of the human being will start with the fertilization, which is the process by which the sperm from the male and the oocyte from the female they unite to form a new organism which is called the zygote. We have in the fertilization and before the fertilization two process occur in the female called gametogenesis and in the male called spermatogenesis. The germ cell to be ready for fertilization it must undergo chromosomal changes and morphological changes to be ready for fertilization. Chromosomal changes, reduction in the number of the chromosome means reduction in the number of the chromosome to half that of the somatic cell. يعني مفروض كل خلية طبيعية بجسم تحتوينا على العدد الكامل من الكروموسومات ومن ال DNA. إحنا غايتنا إنه نقلل عدد الكروموسومات إلى النصف حتى من تلتقي ال oocyte مع ال sperm ترجع العدد الكلي من الكروموسومات. فإذن each somatic cell contains 46 chromosomes يعني 23 pairs or diploid number of the chromosome اللي تحتوينا على 2N DNA half of the chromosome from the father and half of the chromosome from the mother so 44 of the chromosome they are autosomes and two chromosomes are six chromosomes اللي هي إما XX أو XY We have meiotic division. Meiotic division to lab one of the same division. We have the first meiotic division and the second meiotic division. So, in the first meiotic division, we can see that there will be replication of the DNA in the germ cell from two N to four N DNA. And each of the 46 chromosome will be the best structure and contain two chromatid. Pairing of the homologous chromosome. Homologous chromosome or pairing of the chromosome mean four chromatid. There will be change of the chromatid segment crossover between the two pair homologous chromosome and splitting will occur. After splitting completed, Each daughter cell will contain one number of each chromosome pair, so contain two, 23 double structure chromosome and 2 N DNA. This is occur in the first meiotic division, as it is clear in these figures. In the second meiotic division, D23 double structure chromosome will be divided at the centromere so each newly formed daughter cell will receive 
23 chromatid single chromosome and 1N DNA so half that of the somatic cell مثل ما قلنا طلاب غايتنا انه الخلية تحتوينا على نصف النمبر من الكروموسوم ونصف الامونت من ال DNA so the purpose of the meiotic these two meiotic division is to provide each germ cell or gamete with the haploid number of the chromosome 23 chromosome and half the amount of the DNA of the normal somatic cell which is 1N DNA so in the fertilization when this cell contains this amount of the chromosome and the amount of the DNA unite with the uh, the other cell so the oocyte unite with the sperm in the fertilization there will be restoration of the normal amount of the chromosome which is 46 a chromosome and the DNA is 2N DNA also there will be allow it to change of the blocks of the genetic material so in the first meiotic division there will be replication of the DNA in the germ cell from 2 to 4 number and each of the 46 chromosome will be double structure and contain two chromatids. There will be pairing of the homologous chromosome contain four chromatids, and there will be interchange of the chromatid segment between the two paired homologous chromosome when split from each other. After splitting completed, the daughter cell الخلية الناتجة أو ال daughter cell راح تحتوينا على one member of the each chromosome pair so it will be contain 23 double structure chromosome and 2N DNA in the second meiotic division the 23 double structure chromosome will be divided at the centromere and each newly formed daughter cell will receive 23 chromatid single chromosome and 1N DNA. So half that in the somatic cell. Purpose of the meiotic division. ما هو الغرض من هالقيسام الاختزالي? To provide each germ cell or gamete with the haploid number of the chromosome. 23 chromosome and half the amount of the DNA of the normal somatic cell which is 1N DNA to allow the exchange of the block of the genetic material so we can see here the primary oocyte and the primary spermatocyte after the DNA replication and after change or uh, formation of the secondary oocyte tertiary oocyte, mature oocyte, the mature oocyte will contain 22 number of the chromosome زائد X and the three polar body, while the result in the primary spermatocyte and formation of the secondary spermatocyte, then the spermatid and the spermatozoa, the sperm, there will be four number of the sperm contain 23 single a chromosome and they are either two of them with X or two and the other two with the Y thank you for that